The Sarnayev family believes brothers Tamerlan and Johar are innocent, set up, as Eilina Sarnayev has stated, in some sort of government conspiracy. Welcome back, everyone. Well, a trial is now underway in the U.S. city of Boston that will likely bring back a lot of painful memories. Jury selection continues Tuesday in the Boston Marathon bombing case. 21-year-old Joe Kasanayev is accused of teaming with his older brother to detonate two bombs near the race's finish line, killing three people and injuring more than 260. Sanayev has pleaded not guilty to 30 federal charges which come with a possible death sentence. U.S. officials say prosecutors and defense attorneys talked about a possible plea deal, but they didn't reach one. Opening statements are set for January 26th. Well, after the bombings, the widow of the older brother, Tamlin Sanayev, emerged as one of the most mysterious figures. Catherine Russell has kept a low profile since her husband was named a suspect. He was killed several days after the attacks. And now as the trial begins, there are still questions about what Russell knew. Here's Drew Griffin. Immediately after the bombings, Catherine Russell slipped from public view, disappearing with her small child into the suburban Rhode Island home of her parents, appearing in public only when summoned for a traffic ticket. To her neighbors, she was living as a ghost, rarely seen and never heard. She's trying to get her life back together. She's trying to remain out of public view. She's trying to figure out who she is and figure out how to raise a daughter whose father was a mass murderer. And that's got to be a challenging task for her and her family. There was always the lingering question, too, of what she did know about her husband and brother-in-law's alleged plot to plant pressure cooker bombs at the Boston Marathon. Bombs, investigators believe, were at least partially made on the kitchen table of the tiny apartment she shared with Tomerlin Sarnayev. Catherine Russell has never been charged in connection with the bombings. Federal prosecutors will not say if Russell is a suspect, a witness, or simply a non-involved widow. Former federal prosecutor David Slotnick says regardless of what she did or did not know, it is smart for Russell to remain silent. Unless she aided and abetted, that is, she went out and purchased some item knowing that he might use it to create a bomb, or helped him in some way in scoping out the marathon or gave him information, she's not technically guilty of any crime. Catherine Russell was last seen holding what's believed to be the newest child in the Sarnayev family, her niece, a child of Alina Sarnayev, her 24-year-old sister-in-law. Alina Sarnayev recently appeared in court on unrelated charges of threatening a romantic rival with a bomb. She has pled not guilty. But by all indications, Russell has chosen to be near and with her dead husband's family living in New Jersey, rather than with her parents in Rhode Island. Her last known apartment was just blocks from the last listed address of Alina and Bella Sarnayev, her sisters-in-law. The Sarnayev family believes brothers Tamerlan and Johar are innocent, set up, as Eilina Sarnayev has stated, in some sort of government conspiracy. My brother's got three. But Catherine Russell's feelings remain unknown. Her attorney says she's not talking and will not talk, while the family waits for the final chapter of the Boston Marathon bombings to be written. Drew Griffin, CNN, North Bergen, New Jersey. The Sarnayev family believes brothers Tamerlan and Johar are innocent, set up, as Eilina Sarnayev has stated, in some sort of government conspiracy. My 